this side is very yeah, I'm sure it's better than me. And now, here are the starting lineups for tonight's game. Starting to visit the New York Cardinals, led by the head coach, Brandon Parker. At the guard, a senior, number four, Jimmy Lockerley. At the guard, a freshman, number 10, Brandon Deary. At the forward, a senior number 20, Kenzie Yoder. At the forward, a senior number 24, Lee Moore. And at the guard, a senior number 31, Carter Long. Starting lineups here between the Florida Cardinals against Bonner Spring here in Bonner Spring on the door. Darcy Sports Live. I'm going down the room next to me. It is Caden here. Doing a little bit on this broadcast. Hope you guys can hear us. I'm in a little bit of trouble with our sound. But hopefully you guys can hear us okay as we announce this game at the tip off. Eight minutes on the five zero here score here in the first quarter. As we just stated, getting a little bit of late jump here with the audio to this game. Now that we will have the video here for you guys, as well as the scoreboard to keep you guys updated throughout the game. They're up here for Mono Springs. Gonna wrap it around right now, Maya Anderson. We got top Emily Morton. Back by Emily Morton. Emily Morton will pick the first basket of the game in here at Sport Honor Springs. The door down 2 0 in her early 7 22 left in the clock. Inside, that one's stolen away. An early turnover here. And over to Naya. Trying to get a two possession lead. Look to the Lady Braves. There's a quick three. That one's air ball. Offensive rebound this time by Norton. Trying to go inside. Pressing a little through. Another air ball. Keeping still possession. Says she touched the line with Morton. There we go. In possession of the Cardinals. Okay. 
Theodore looking for their first points of the evening. That one looked like could be in travel and will be called. It's another turnover, the second one of the game already for Dora. Play committed by Marley Folks. Parker Long, excuse me. And inside, nice pass that time. Just couldn't finish up the win. Offensive rebound, trying to check out the second time. Gets it a third. Back outside to Morton. It's a couple of times already that Eudora's given up early offensive rebounds. Swing over to Wesley. See back outside. Think about it. Through his Anderson. She went inside with it. And this time Eudora is able to come out with the rebound. It's Kenzie Yoder with the offense, with the defensive rebound, excuse me. They're still looking for their first points here. Five and a half minutes up to play. Here's a three. That one wouldn't go. Come out with the board again here for Eudora. Side and a foul. Yoder draws the contact and should go to the line for two. And the first of two will be missed here by Yoda. Still looking for the first points of the evening is Eudora. for two. And can be a push ball. Trying to push full court pressure here for the four. And get the foul ball on that one. Five, six, seven. Anderson trying to start something here for the Braves. Up at points. Three minutes here for the first quarter. That one just passed away by Sander. And we'll go out of bounds and a turnover here for the Lady Braves. Could be a break for Eudora. Trying to find their first lead. Just misses the three back a couple times in the room, but can you fall? Rebound by Sandra. And it's going away very good. This is the the line before she could clearly get the turnover. With Bryn Dieter being with the info. to go in the first quarter. That one's going to be an offensive foul. For the Bonner Springs, the Addison Thompson, 5'10 sophomore, and play to the basket. Brynn Dieterding with her first two points of the day, and Medora takes her first lead here of the evening, 3-2. Nearly pushed out. It's going to be an open three. That one just missed. And nice rebound that time. Parker Long with that rebound. And now the three pointer. And that one will And you go to see the winner. That's a six ball. And now a four point lead. Start to connect on a few of their shots. Now here's an open shot off. That's Madison Thompson. It was Nia Anderson who found Thompson with that nice assist. The first point since inside the first 30 seconds of this game. 
And there's going to be another foul by Yoder Drow. This time it's going to be on Emily Morton. So it'll be two more. Oh, and Morton coming up with Morton's second for a line in her first time there. Kenzie Yoder will uh, shoot two. Bounces in and out and it cannot be saved. So almost an easy basket there for Eudora up four. Looking for double digits here. 322 left to go in the first. Let's go. Whipped over Samble. She's fouled. That's the same way we're going to hold her team within one with this free throw. So far, and Sample will miss the free throw, so no three point play. Fortunately, here for the Cardinals. Looking for a response. Dieterding going right through the entire defense, just can't quite finish. Strong up with the blue down that time by Brooke now. Brown really lost the ball that time. Had it up, got it off the Dieterding. Quick handoff. It's going to be a travel call. Quincy Yoder charged with the travel. Can be one substitution here. It's going to be Lucy Giffen. They're coming in for you, Dora. It's a long three from the top and just uh, another strong outfit to beat on this time by Izzy again. Up and Hannah uh, sits underneath part of the backboard, got him the rebound. It's just an ugly possession, but they keep on getting the offensive boards. And now a long three. This one missed. And finally wrapped up. Bottom springs of the offensive rebound on the sample. Right side with two defenders. It's too far the path. He's trying to find Thompson again down the middle. This time it's going to be Yoder fouled before she can get it off to Keltner. So I'm not sure if they will call it a shooting foul, so they will go. Cameron Love will look to foul. Yoder will come out. So we're not sure that they call on the ground. What you expecting? We're up 8-6. It's a little over a minute here. We have to go 
in the first quarter. Boy, looking for a good little lead. The now quick shot went down. Owen is still in the now that time. But Lucy Giffen with a good offensive board. Gives your team another chance. 55 seconds. I mean, he's been quiet here in the first quarter. He's done a lot to Kelvin Kellner. Defender all over. And Giffen can get that off. It's a board past Thompson. Could be the last chance over half, but can be thrown away trying to find Sambo. Stolen away by Anderson. 5'5", five, five, sophomore. Not on the same page with the senior. It's 30 clicks here remaining in the first quarter. 8-6, to six, Eudora trying to expand their lead. We were watching here earlier in the first quarter. It was a 2-1 game here about four minutes into the ball game. It has kicked up a little bit with scoring so far in the second half of the quarter. That one's still a great guy. Giffen's going to be a foul call. And it will be on Giffen on the contact again. Oh, so the first first ball. Nine point eight seconds here left to go. This one's gonna be in. Giant throw to the pass goes nine. A nice hand off to Sambo. Just left the shot short. She had a wide open look. The killer in the first quarter is four. Quarter. We're bringing it back here with more on Washington Sports Live. The smoothest, the creamiest, the most amazing ice cream you've ever had. That's what you'll find at Main Street Scoops and Sweets in historic downtown Eudora, Kansas. With over 100 mouth-watering Wisconsin-made ice cream flavors, including dairy-free and gluten-free options. The bakery is always serving up the most heavenly cookies, cakes, and so much more. Ask about Main Street's custom cakes for that special occasion. What are you waiting for? Come make the sweetest of memories at Main Street Scoops and Sweets in downtown Eudora, where it's always ice cream time. Are you looking for a trusted partner in pet care? Look no further than Eudora Animal Hospital, proudly serving Eudora and the surrounding area since 1975. Eudora Animal Hospital offers a wide range of services, including wellness exams, surgeries, routine vaccinations, and emergency care. Hi guys, just wanted to say thank you from Eudora Animal Hospital for all your support and Go Schedule an appointment by calling 785-542-3265 or visit eudoravet.com. Welcome back here to uh, Eudora. It's an eight to six first quarter. Eight more minutes are left to go in the first half. It was a very quiet quarter to start it off. This two to one in the first three and a half, four minutes so far so of play. Picked up a little bit. Laura went on a six to zero run to make it six to two. Oh, It'll be an early foul. Kristen Leslie, her first foul. Going to be the first foul here for the Lady Braves of the quarter. Trying to kick it over to Yoder. Side, there's a three. Out of the again. It's one three connecting so far here for Eudora or for the Lady Braves. Parker Long, who connected. Trying to look for something past this Braves defense. To go to Urban and the reset. Space to open and covered well again by Sambo. Out of possession for about 45 seconds now. 
On the ground again, Ipperman thought about taking the three. Which is off the long. Now a minute in possession here. Going over to Parker. Parker to the shot. Has it blocked. Great defense by Bonner Springs. A minute of possession. And no shot that went up. There's Leslie with the block. Three. Not and it's going to be Anderson who dreams of she now has five here for the Lady Braves. Down the road, and there's going to be a shot for a low match. It's Ray Deer being a match for Eudora. And just like that, an 11 9 game. Back to back threes, a little bit more excitement here in the low scoring game. There's a three by Kristen Leslie off the back. Three by Kristen Leslie. To beat it and see if they can respond. She'll go straight after the basket up and it's in the end of the foul. And Dean Dean says I'll take it myself to respond. And she'll look for a three point play and six quick points here on the second side. Her her Addison Thompson will be charged with her second And a timeout here for the door up. One is going to be the We'll take you back to the success. Number one, obviously, is safety. We definitely call 811 to find out if there are any buried lines fiber optic, whether it be telephone or pipeline or anything. Don't take a chance. Don't think you know and say, well, there's, I don't remember anything being put in there. Call 811 and make sure that that's identified that there isn't something there before you make that crossing. Because in the end, we want everybody going home. Welcome back in here to Bonner Springs High School. Dora versus Bonner Springs. Dylan Vanderveen calling your game here tonight for you, Dora. And that'll make a three point play for Brim Dieterding. She's got six points now in the score. She hit a three, and now a three point play back to back puts you, Dora, up 14 to 12. So the Lady Braves, they have one three already in this. Preston Leslie hit one. And that one's looks like it's gonna be a, a charge call against the oh, first It looked like an off bow, off ball call, excuse me. And it's gonna be Not exactly sure what it was, what exactly that call was, but we'll start playing again. The sun down low, literally tipped away by Wesley. Boy kept the ball for really a minute here earlier in this quarter. Warder was swing this one out again. Erbling looking inside was Dieterding. Will fall down, get the ball away. It's still loose. Only picked up in the hands of Parker Long. Turn over to Yoder. Or back outside. Here being a nice pass inside, trying to find Yoder. She can't finish on the first one. But we're getting foul call. Trying to go up for the second chance, and she'll go back to the line for the third time tonight. Four twenty-three here left to go in the first half. So now, now Banquin Yoder makes them both. 16 to 12 here for Eudora. <laughs> so 
I've heard him move to like two steps. I've heard him move like two steps to the right. Okay, that one's going to be now over to Samuel trying to throw an off possession here at Browner Springs. Still up four. Three thirty here left. Trying to inside the basket all day. That would be a nice little push out back in the lead. See Brookow makes this a six-point game. With three ten left to play in the first half. Stopping by Arnold Springs. By Arnold Springs. We'll take a short here, 30 second timeout, you're listening Varsity Sports Live, and then we come back. I used to drive an ambulance as an EMT, and I've always tried to be a safe driver. If people knew what I know, lives could be saved. In my car, if I see a truck or bus taking a turn, I know to take my time. When big vehicles turn right, they may swing wide to make the turn. If you try to sneak in, well, it's a lesson you'd rather not learn the hard way. When trucks and buses turn, let's you and I wait. It's our roads, it's our safety. Welcome back in here, Bonner Springs High School, Medora High School against Bonner Springs. Cardinals up 18 to 12 so far here on the Lady Braves. Three minutes left to go here in the first half. That's going to be a backcourt violation. Anderson makes the mistake. And it's going to be a free turnover here for Eudora, trying to expand their lead past six. Now, thinking about a shot was Drunk Owl, or excuse me, Deaver getting the speaker in. And kind of wild open. That one just missed for a couple times out there in. The wide open look and the best looks we have today for Drunk Owl. That one went a long shot. Really got all the way back to it. As Anderson with that shot. Another waiting hands now, Deberding. Now inside, Deberding trying to make a nice move. Bounce it right outside. Wide open look and an air ball. Arkell has had two wide open looks here in the last minute. First one was close, the one was way off. Sam will try to go strong with a basket. It's off the side of the backboard. Markel get the rebound. The long time out of three. I'll hold the long will take a three. And one miss, but an offensive board again. Absolutely dominating on the offensive board rebound is the Cardinals. Oh, here's a shot. That one airballed again. Tom Yoder with the airball. Oh, 
now, and there's a three chain time. Three, three quarter, 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 Yes, Puts her team within three. We're close to the end of the first half. There's 65 seconds now. Turnover, Dieterding. Looks like she's not on the same page. But she's trying to connect with either Parker or Longer or Yoder there. That's where in the basket with a foul on her way in. Oh, it's going to be Laney Orr charged with the call to the last two hours. And she makes the first of two. Kept in by Yoder. We're looking to find something. Local then will take the three service. She was left with the eight open. And there with the three. A much needed three going in here to halftime. 22 seconds remain. Lady Braves looking for some momentum going into their own locker room. Anderson gives it off to and um, just left short. It was Billings that had the chance. It was an off support here in the bottom screen. This runs out of time. And that is the end of the first half with your score. Yodora 21, Mark Spring 17. For a 21 17 game. Once again, don't forget to participate in several of our fundraisers going on. You can see donations to the Sports by Bowling and the Trip of Vegas in February. We'll just pay the Special Olympics and National Tournament. Tickets are $5 each. High quality foods, friendly service, great prices, and a connection to the community that is unsurpassed. That's Jeans Heartland Foods in Eudora. Family owned, Jeans Heartland Foods offers a convenient one-stop shop. Delivering the everyday essentials you need to specialty items from around the world. Jeans friendly staff is here to help you find exactly what you're looking for. You have options when it comes to feeding your family. Choose to support local. Choose Jeans Heartland Foods, 1402 Church Street in Eudora or online at heartlandfoodstores.com. Just like the Cardinals are striving for success, Caw Valley State Bank's mission is your success. At Caw Valley State Bank, they provide the best, most efficient, courteous, and professional banking services possible. And at Caw Valley, they recognize that the customer and their satisfaction is the most important ingredient to growing their community. With all the services you've come to expect from the hometown partner you deserve, Caw Valley State Bank, online at kvsb.com. A proud supporter of Eudora Schools. Freedom of the press is about your right to know. It's about your right to be informed. Today, there are real threats to press freedom and your right to know about the world around us. We must protect our right to know, no matter what kind of news is important to you. Before it's too late, understand the threats. Protectpressfreedom.org. Hey folks, save a thousand bucks on your interior painting project this winter. Hire Absolute Painting during November through February and qualify for 10% off your project, a free paint upgrade, and a free color consultation to make sure you choose the perfect colors to transform your home. This amazing offer only lasts until our winter calendar is booked and spots are filling up fast. Call now and save a thousand bucks on your interior project. 
No money down, affordable monthly payment options are available. This offer won't last long, so call now to save a thousand bucks on your interior project with Absolute Painting, where quality is absolute. At Kansas Insurance, we know one size doesn't fit all. In fact, our whole mindset is based on customized policies for you and your families. We're local, and we do what we do because we care about you. Think of us as brokers for your insurance needs. Working with Kansas Insurance gets you the award-winning service and attention to detail that only an independent agency can provide. All across Kansas, we're here to help you manage and plan for all types of risk. Contact a local agent today. Kansas Insurance. Local. Independent. Serving you. For more than 20 years, Gherkin Rental has been the place to go to get the job done in eastern Kansas and western Missouri. With a huge selection of quality equipment, from roll-offs to trailers, telehandlers to generators, power washers to popcorn makers, experienced equipment professionals, and clean, well-maintained tools to help you get the job done right the first time. Gherkin Rental. Stop by any of their 13 locations across the KC Metro or call 855-GHERKINS. That's 855-437-5367. The smoothest, the creamiest, the most amazing ice cream you've ever had. That's what you'll find at Main Street Scoops and Sweets in historic downtown Eudora, Kansas. With over 100 mouth-watering Wisconsin-made ice cream flavors, including dairy-free and gluten-free options. The bakery is always serving up the most heavenly cookies, cakes, and so much more. Ask about Main Street's custom cakes for that special occasion. What are you waiting for? Come make the sweetest of memories at Main Street Scoops and Sweets in downtown Eudora, where it's always ice cream time. The MVPs of BBQ. That's Barbed Wire Barbecue in Eudora. Family owned and operated, Barbed Wire Barbecue delivers great food and small town hospitality at a valued price. High quality hickory smoked meats, house seasonings, and time tested recipes put Barbed Wire Barbecue a cut above the rest. Kick off your weekend with their delicious brunch on Saturdays and Sundays and enjoy game day your way with Barbed Wire Game Day Packs. Visit them at 601 East 10th in Eudora or see their full lineup of flavors at barbedwirebarbecue.com. The Supplemental Security Income Program provides monthly payments to help meet basic needs, like putting food on the table, paying the rent, or buying new shoes for growing feet. You may qualify if your income and financial resources are low and you are 65 or older, or an adult or child with a disability or who is blind. Call 1-800-772-1213 or go to ssa.gov SSI to start to apply. Produced at U.S. taxpayer expense. Everybody can make something because I think everyone has a spark of creativity and the reason that I have to keep making is because I don't think my life would be as fulfilling without it. If you make things yourself, that means you're not cowering in fear. You're out there taking chances. That, I think, is my way of saying I love you to the world. All right, now I want to hear why you make. Share your own Why I Make story today. Visit whyimake.org. What would happen if, if I had to pick up the phone, call 911 for one of my family members or one of my neighbors? What would I do if, if no one was on the other end to respond? What if there was no 911? So you can be a part of the solution. Anybody can be a firefighter, male, female, younger, older. We are school teachers. We are leaders in business. Is me, you, anyone that wants to be. There is no typical firefighter. 
Are you looking for a trusted partner in pet care? Look no further than Eudora Animal Hospital, proudly serving Eudora and the surrounding area since 1975. Eudora Animal Hospital offers a wide range of services, including wellness exams, surgeries, routine vaccinations, and emergency care. Hi guys, just wanted to say thank you from Eudora Animal Hospital for all your support and Go Tars! Schedule an appointment by calling 785-542-3265 or visit eudoravet.com. High quality foods, friendly service, great prices, and a connection to the community that is unsurpassed. That's Jeans Heartland Foods in Eudora. Family owned, Jeans Heartland Foods offers a convenient one stop shop, delivering the everyday essentials you need to specialty items from around the world. Jeans Friendly Staff is here to help you find exactly what you're looking for. You have options when it comes to feeding your family. Choose to support local. Choose Jeans Heartland Foods, 1402 Church Street in Eudora, or online at heartlandfoodstores.com. Call insurance agent. Hello, customer. Oh, great. Uh, I just had a quick question about my insurance. You are 312th in line. Oh, it's just a real quick question. Would you like a callback in six hours? Sometimes humans are just more helpful. Hey, Max, I can answer your insurance question. Awesome. I appreciate it. Farm Bureau Financial Services. It's your future. Let's protect it. Contact Farm Bureau agent Anthony Brown in Eudora today at 785-615-0516. He's the score here from Bonner Springs. Eudora High School women's basketball against Bonner Springs women's basketball. Eudora holds a four-point lead. It started off very slow with nearly no points scored in the four, first four minutes. They kicked up a little bit after that. A couple of threes being drained early in the second quarter. Back-to-back, back three back between the two teams. Makes it 21 to 17. Needed in the winning score so far in the quarter goals. She's got six points. Younger is going on that mix here. Will the guards? On the screen, it's just the name of 17 points. That has been led by several people, including Jackson Sandel, Madison Thompson, leading the way the two sophomores. For the big scores here for the Lady Braves, early on, about 20 seconds away from starting off this second half. It looks like the starting five. There will be much of the same. Berkeley, Dieterding, Parker Long, and Lindsay Orr, as well as Kinsey Yoder. We'll start the second half here for the Cardinals. Twenty-one to seventeen so far is the score. Waiting to see the Eudora takeover we've seen a few times so far this season. Braves now 20 seconds into the possession. So he thought about a three now. It's like the offense runs through Nia Anderson here. The junior. Three upperclassmen on this Modern Springs roster. And the Kirsten Leslie, Ada Anderson, and Buell are the only three out of ranked 11th grade Ohio. And taken away nearly. Going away by Long, so he'll be out of bounds. Started this possession here for the Lady Braves at the beginning of the game. Over a minute into it now. Well, near hit up, and it's thrown away this time by Long, so it's to be It's another opportunity now over the younger. Trying to dribble it to Dylan Yoder is still down on the floor. This one goes up to Pearson. He's strong, now taken away by Erpelding. No wait for her Better to get up, and she does have some blood coming off the top of her eye. The 
and try to contain here. We can, you know, we're going to take a short break here while they, uh, another, they're going to resume play without, it looks like they subbed her out. They did sub her out. She just has a little cut right on the elbow, right on, looks like right above the eyebrow. He's bleeding a little bit, so she'll have to get some medical attention. Maybe she'll get some uh, butterfly stitches or something like that. Get back into the game. But being over the park with long swings this one all the way over a wide open three out the back where just can't roll in. But another offensive rebound here for the Cardinals. Straight forward is opening. She'll get her own rebound, try to toss it off twice. And it's going to be a foul called instead of a jump ball like. Could have been called, I'm sure, but that foul is going to be called on him instead of jump. It could be a break this time here for the door. I don't want to move out of bounds again. We'll just start over. Excuse me, the third quarter. So much of the slow scoring that we saw at the beginning of the first half. Just thrown on the same page was Lippling and Dieterding. That one just throws away for an easy turnover. In, trying to get something going again for her team. They've had the ball for the majority of this quarter, but no points to put up for it. This one back outside again. Holding swings it back over Anderson. Anderson will go inside now. Wide open three is Sample, and she can't put it in. A nice rebound by Orr. thought about the three. Now back in her hand, she does take the three this time. Now it will be rebounded by Morton. Three point shootings, less than subpar here for both teams, and this time Morton will just throw it out of bounds. So a couple of, this seems like simple mistakes here for both sides. So there's no points scored yet. Over three minutes in to the third quarter. Trying one more time here. Yeah. Lost away, stolen. Building. Waiting, takes the jump shot and she'll drain it. She's in double tickets here all in the afternoon. 23 17. First point scored. Here in the second half was that jumper right there. And it will be, it looks like, going to be a travel call. Anderson doesn't agree with it. But it still will be the Cardinals' ball. Not agreeing with it, but they um, charged a foul. Definitely upset with the call. Um, 
Bader Dame will be charged with that foul. It's going to be her first. Four minutes here left to go in the third quarter. Six point game, just two points scored between the two teams here in the third. Rough handoff that time, Anderson does recover. Looking for a jumper this time, and that one will fall. There's an air ball, the nice save, Martin. Martin sweeps it in and allows Houston to get and contact call to a blocking call. Charge will be against Brunkow. And they'll be two for three here. The set for As he will miss the first of two. Missed them both. Now driving up the court here. Parker Law. Guarded well that time. There's a shot inside. And it's going out. Another offensive board. No, it will be in the hands of Anderson. They try to hit it out. Anderson up the kind of just too hard off the backbone. And a foul. We call it's going to be against Chastity Samble. From Chastity Samble. Her first, first personal foul. Coming down now, less than three minutes under. Here in the third, just two points scored down on the side of Eudora, and it was a jumper by Dieterding. Now Dieterding at three. She can't put this one in. One to three on the day for Dieterding from long range. It's one of the two threes so far here for Eudora. Now one lost by Sambo. Now one now lost by Orr. Gets it back with Kirsten Presley, and she'll go up for the shot and will be fouled. Her second will be charged with her second quarter. The shot that would chip her in, and this will make herself one for three on the line on the day. Trying to start some back to Doran gets that turned over. Great turnover by Dieter Dean. Now transition is plus the two off the glass again. And again, the bottom springs cannot finish. Doran getting away with some of these, and that's going to be a wrap up. Four <laughs> still, so you know, will remain possession up four to a lead on the clock. We're looking to separate, and that one can't fall. Even missing some open short shots here so far for both sides. Really only 23 19 game. This shot by Sample. That one falls short. And Zwar gets that rebound. Swung around and then maybe foul this four. She'll go to the line for two. Looks like she could have had an open man. The ball's at the first three. Shot wins. Nanny Orr makes the first of two. Five point lead. And 
makes them bold. Our next hit here, our score, four to two. Quarter, 92 seconds left to go. Question, what will you find on all over-the-counter or OTC medicine packages to help you choose the right drug and use it safely? The answer, the drug facts label. This label lists the medicine's active ingredients and purpose, how much to take, and warnings you should know before using it. Remember, even OTC medicines you buy without a prescription can cause side effects you don't want. So follow the information listed on the drug facts label. For more information, visit FDA.gov slash drug facts label. A message from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. Back here live. 25 19. We are still leading by six. Yeah. And we'll have that one taken away. It's new script for you. It's all good. Foul. Just the the first. I will make them both. Sample will make. With the eight seconds left to play, 25 21. The run is too long, but the well might run count. Uh, now going too far. That would be an over and back call. 25 21 was a score of 21 17 at halftime. It's a 4 to 4 game in the third quarter. Not a whole lot of action. Had a lot of slack in the play on offense. Good defense. Only seven seconds left. Bottom springs a three. Sambo puts that one. Chastity Sambo. Next is a one point game. We've been an open three by Kelly, and she won't take it. Three seconds left. Trying to get a shot off his Deaverdine. And can't put it in. A one point game. In the Sports Live. Come back. Here at Red Fourth Quarter. Are you looking for a trusted partner in pet care? Look no further than Eudora Animal Hospital, proudly serving Eudora and the surrounding area since 1975. Eudora Animal Hospital offers a wide range of services, including wellness exams, surgeries, routine vaccinations, and emergency care. Hi guys, just wanted to say thank you from Eudora Animal Hospital for all your support and Go Schedule an appointment by calling 785-542-3265 or visit eudoravet.com. The smoothest, the creamiest, the most amazing ice cream you've ever had. That's what you'll find at Main Street Scoops and Sweets in historic downtown Eudora, Kansas. With over 100 mouth-watering Wisconsin-made ice cream flavors, including dairy-free and gluten-free options. The bakery is always serving up the most heavenly cookies, cakes, and so much more. Ask about Main Street's custom cakes for that special occasion. What are you waiting for? Come make the sweetest of memories at Main Street Scoops and Sweets in downtown Eudora, where it's always ice cream time.
Welcome back in here, Eudora Sports Live. Had a great run so far. Trying to put this one away. 25-24. Bomber Springs will start off with the ball. Is trying to find his poor or or outside of the room. Swung down low, it's going to go up with it with Grunkow, and that would be uh, a wrap up. But we'll keep the ball. Ripping call. See the call. Back up to the first lead of the half. That one just lost, trying to connect with Parker Long. Foul call. And now he foul called. 
Is it going to be opening? It will be. Cross on Jayla Erpelding for fourth person. It will be opening fourth foul of the evening. So she is one away here from fouling out of the game. 4.43 still left. and it will be fouled. That's going to be a tech call and a technical. Technical foul, Pearson Wesley. Pearson Wesley is going to be charged with the tech. Bryn Geary, the line, shooting two. She'll make the first of two. <laughs> back to back, and there'll be a possession as well. A tie game here with 4-12 left to play. Oh, thumbs off. Theater game. Over opening. There is Parker. She's going to be double team. Tries to go up with it and will be out. The last touch, Emily Morton, going to be the last one touched and called for the Lady Braves. It's going to be a regular discussion. Secured up defensive board. Timeout taken by Bonner Street. Timeout is going to be taken before the 10 second violation. We'll bring you back in here. Quick 30 seconds, tight game. Here, a good one for Bonner Springs. At Kansas Insurance, we know one size doesn't fit all. In fact, our whole mindset is based on customized policies for you and your families. We're local, and we do what we do because we care about you. Think of us as brokers for your insurance needs. Working with Kansas Insurance gets you the award-winning service and attention to detail that only an independent agency can provide. All across Kansas, we're here to help you manage and plan for all types of risk. Contact a local agent today. Kansas Insurance. Local. Independent. Serving you. A still tie game, 27-27, 3.32 left to go. It's been a great one all day long. Eudora had the lead the majority of the second and third quarters. Bonner Springs took it over early, and Eudora just tied it up. And it's going to be a foul on Dieterding. I believe it's going to be her third. third it is her third personal foul. Dieterding trying to get some clarification from the official about what she's doing. Thank you. 
This one swinging over Sample. Anderson trying to find something for her team to make it work. Still a 27-27 game. Really has not been a lot of points scored in the second half. Just 10 ladies, and there's a shot and not falling off the board. There's four Eudora Cardinals. They'll end up with it, and it's Brunkow will be credited with the rebound. There's two and a half minutes here to play. Parker Long thought about taking it. Brunkow will take it, and it will be an air ball from the corner. She's air balled a couple today, and that one's going to be a wrap-up. And going to be on favoring Bonner Springs. Bonner Springs. It was a wide open look again from Brunkhouse. She's airballed a couple of those today. Usually pretty good from beyond the arc. Anderson will cover by Dieterding. And is going to be called a timeout. It will be. So a timeout here for Bonner Springs. Timeout taken by Bonner Springs. 27-27. Bring you back here in just a short 30 seconds. Number one, obviously, is safety. We definitely call 811 to find out if there are any buried lines, fiber optic, whether it be telephone or pipeline or anything. Don't take a chance. Don't think you know and say, well, there's, I don't remember anything being put in there. Call 811 and make sure that that's identified that there isn't something there before you make that crossing. Because in the end, we want everybody going home. Welcome back in here to Eudora. And here trying to monitor Springs. Now under two minutes up to go. Two minute warning. I Anderson swinging over. You know the Lady Braves can take a while in the possession. Presley goes up and the and one. Presley will secure it. Well, on AC Bronco, the third personal. Kirsten Leslie at the line, shooting one. Thirty to twenty-seven here. A minute forty-five left. One strong of the rim was Dieter Dean can't finish. It was Emily Morton with the rebound, and now Naya Anderson taking it up for the Lady Braves. Over here, Anderson again. She's guarded by Dieter Ding. That one stripped away. Parker Long has her on the ground, and it's going to be a timeout. Bonner Springs was quick to take it as soon as she went down. And a 30-27 to 27 matchup. We won't take a timeout here at this time. It's going to be a quick one here, 30 seconds. Or, excuse me, it'll be a minute. So we'll take a short break here. Bring you back at 30 seconds. Welcome back in here to Eudora. 30 to 27 so far in this one. It's been a great game so far. 
Eudora trying to get in front. Have been missing the majority of the fourth quarter. And that is going to be a turnover. Naya Anderson is called with the turnover. Time out taken by Eudora. Eudora will take a quick timeout, so we will too bring it back here in 30 seconds. next game yeah welcome back in here bonner springs high school 30 to 27 lead for bonner springs dylan vanderveen next to me Jaden, 30 to 27 again it's been a great one all day long it was 21 17 with the lead for you dora at halftime the second half has a lot much on the scoreboard just 13 points for Bronner Springs. And for Eudora, just six points here in the second half. Not almost no offense. Are they trying to try to change that here in the remaining 70 seconds? Down three. I went thrown away. It's going to stay on the side of Eudora. It looked like it was tipped. That might be why it was so far in front. And they're going to have a discussion here about if it was touched before. And it's going to be called in favor of the Lady Braves. With the way the ball's direction went, it almost looked like the Lady Braves tipped it. Was called on that originally. They switched the call. It will be in possession of the Lady Braves. This one over Nye Anderson trying to trap him. This Parker long and Dieterding. I went nearly taken away by Erpeling. We're wasting the clock now down to less than 50 seconds. One basket could put this away. Is it going to be a foul? It's going to be a jump ball. And Eudora has the arrow possession, so with 45 seconds left down three, Eudora will get the ball back. So here, is it kicked away? Still stays in. Oh, and now it's turned over. And a foul called no shot. 28 seconds left. A very costly turnover here for the Cardinals. Could almost put the fork in the dagger here with two free throws made by Leslie. Here's to Leslie, the line shooting team. Not a loss that Johnson, excuse me, not a loss that the Adora Cardinals really expected to have coming in here. And the first of two is missed, so it stays a one-possession game through the first field free throw. And all Presley has to do is make one to make it a two-possession game. She will miss both. Is it, it is boarded, but Morta gets the offensive board. A timeout by Bonner Springs before anything else could happen. And not only did Eudora turn it over, they let the offensive board go and now in trouble here with 25 seconds to go. You're watching Eudora on Varsity Sports Live. We'll bring you back here in 30 seconds. Number one, obviously, is safety. We definitely call 
811 to find out if there are any buried lines, fiber optic, whether it be telephone or pipeline or anything. Don't take a chance. Don't think you know and say, well, there's, I don't remember anything being put in there. Call 811 and make sure that that's identified that there isn't something there before you make that crossing. Because in the end, we want everybody going home. What would happen if, if I had to pick up the phone, call 911 for one of my family members or one of my neighbors? What would I do if, if no one was on the other end to respond? What if there was no 911? So you can be a part of the solution. Anybody can be a firefighter, male, female, younger, older. We are school teachers. We are. Welcome back in here, Eudora Sports Live. This is a very close game. That one nearly stripped away by Dieterding, and now the foul will be called. It was a strong offensive board by Morton that made it possible for Bonner Springs to have the ball still. Two free throws were missed by Pearson Leslie with still a three-point game. And now a third free throw is missed by the Lady Braves. They just need one out of these four to push it to a two-possession game. And they have missed the first three. Here it is. And she will make the final of them. So she'll make one of two, a 31-27. Crushing here to Eudora. Got to get a quick basket into the hands of their best playmaker in Dieterding. Now switch over to Erpelding. Getting to Parker Long. Parker Long double trapped. Erpelding with a three. That one's too long off the boards. Parker Long with it back up. That one's stuffed. Sample got the stop and it hit zeros. Bonner Springs will get the win. Eudora crushing loss. Their second straight. A 31 to 27 low scoring loss and the back to back losses. Here for the Lady Cardinals versus the Baldwin. And now here at Bonner Springs. Two heartbreaking losses. This one by four. The first one in Bonner, or in Baldwin, excuse me, 45 44. And they will fall to 7 2 on the season. Coming up next here on Varsity Sports Live, you don't have to go anywhere. It'll be the same contest. It'll be the men's team, Bonner Sports. And Eudora Cardinals teaming up here. Don't know, don't want to miss that here on Varsity Sports Live. We'll bring you back here with a short post-game show right after this. State coordinates of new land acquisition. Oh, you know that big oak tree that got struck by lightning? Negative. The barn with a funny cow mural? Negative. One-eyed scarecrow? Negative. Giant water tower? You're not from here, are you? I've never seen him. Robots don't know you. We do. Hey, how's your dad doing? For over 80 years, we've built relationships first and plans second. It's your future. Let's protect it. Contact Farm Bureau agent Anthony Brown in Eudora today at 785-615-0516. Just like the Cardinals are striving for success, Caw Valley State Bank's mission is your success. At Caw Valley State Bank, they provide the best, most efficient, courteous, and professional banking services possible. And at Caw Valley, they recognize that the customer and their satisfaction is the most important ingredient to growing their community. With all the services you've come to expect from the hometown partner you deserve. Caw Valley State Bank, online at kvsb.com. A proud supporter of Eudora Schools. I used to drive an ambulance as an EMT, and I've always tried to be a safe driver. If people knew what I know, lives could be saved. In my car, if I see a truck or bus taking a turn, I know to take my time. When big vehicles turn right, they may swing wide to make the turn. If you try to sneak in, well, it's a lesson you'd rather not learn the hard way. When trucks and buses turn, let's you and I wait. It's our roads, it's our safety.
your time Before you wake up in the wild Our natural world needs us now Step by step, side by side, together, we can find a way to ensure that all life on Earth can thrive. To learn more about how you can help protect and conserve nature, visit nature.org. Dan, you need to go. Really? It's important. I feel fine. Look, you cannot mess around with this kind of stuff. Some cancers... That... Man, we just don't want to lose you from something we could have caught. What I need to do? You just give your doctor a call. They'll tell you what screening test you need. Fine. Can I have my pie now? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> High quality foods, friendly service, great prices, and a connection to the community that is unsurpassed. That's Gene's Heartland Foods in Eudora. Family owned, Gene's Heartland Foods offers a convenient one-stop shop. Delivering the everyday essentials you need to specialty items from around the world. Gene's friendly staff is here to help you find exactly what you're looking for. You have options when it comes to feeding your family. Choose to support local. Choose Gene's Heartland Foods, 1402 Church Street in Eudora or online at heartlandfoodstores.com. At Kansas Insurance, we know one size doesn't fit all. In fact, our whole mindset is based on customized policies for you and your families. We're local, and we do what we do because we care about you. Think of us as brokers for your insurance needs. Working with Kansas Insurance gets you the award-winning service and attention to detail that only an independent agency can provide. All across Kansas, we're here to help you manage and plan for all types of risk. Contact a local agent today. Kansas Insurance. Local. Independent. Serving you. Hey folks, save a thousand bucks on your interior painting project this winter. Hire Absolute Painting during November through February and qualify for 10% off your project, a free paint upgrade, and a free color consultation to make sure you choose the perfect colors to transform your home. This amazing offer only lasts until our winter calendar is booked and spots are filling up fast. Call now and save a thousand bucks on your interior project. No money down affordable monthly payment options are available. This offer won't last long, so call now to save a thousand bucks on your interior project with Absolute Painting, where quality is absolute. I used to drive an ambulance as an EMT, and I've always tried to be a safe driver. If people knew what I know, lives could be saved. In my car, if I see a truck or bus taking a turn, I know to take my time. When big vehicles turn right, they may swing wide to make the turn. If you try to sneak in, well, it's a lesson you'd rather not learn the hard way. When trucks and buses turn, let's you and I wait. It's our roads, it's our safety. At Kansas Insurance, we know one size doesn't fit all. In fact, our whole mindset is based on customized policies for you and your families. We're local, and we do what we do because we care about you. Think of us as brokers for your insurance needs. Working with Kansas Insurance gets you the award-winning service and attention to detail that only an independent agency can provide. All across Kansas, we're here to help you manage and plan for all types of risk. Contact a local agent today. Kansas Insurance. Local. Independent. Serving you.
The smoothest, the creamiest, the most amazing ice cream you've ever had. That's what you'll find at Main Street Scoops and Sweets in historic downtown Eudora, Kansas. With over 100 mouth-watering Wisconsin-made ice cream flavors, including dairy-free and gluten-free options. The bakery is always serving up the most heavenly cookies, cakes, and so much more. Ask about Main Street's custom cakes for that special occasion. What are you waiting for? Come make the sweetest of memories at Main Street Scoops and Sweets in downtown Eudora, where it's always ice cream time. Are you looking for a trusted partner in pet care? Look no further than Eudora Animal Hospital, proudly serving Eudora and the surrounding area since 1975. Eudora Animal Hospital offers a wide range of services, including wellness exams, surgeries, routine vaccinations, and emergency care. Hi guys, just wanted to say thank you from Eudora Animal Hospital for all your support and Go Schedule an appointment by calling 785-542-3265 or visit eudoravet.com. Call insurance agent. Hello, customer. Oh, great. Uh, I just had a quick question about my insurance. You are 312th in line. Oh, it's just a real quick question. Would you like a callback in six hours? Sometimes humans are just more helpful. Hey, Max, I can answer your insurance question. Awesome. I appreciate it. Farm Bureau Financial Services. It's your future. Let's protect it. Contact Farm Bureau agent Anthony Brown in Eudora today at 785-615-0516. Welcome back in here to Bonner Springs High School. Just finished up the one of the two games here for Bonner Springs and Eudora. The women's played, just played, lost by a total score of 31-27. It's a little bit of an uglier game on the offensive side of the ball. Lots of turnovers, lots of missed short shots, but we'll look just a little bit more on the offensive side. I hope the bounce back here for Eudora in the men's game will be Bonner Springs. Catching the W, Dora women's team fell to 7-2 with their loss. Only losses came to Baldwin just a few days ago, and then this loss today. So they were 7-0 to start it off of loss. Their last two, Dora's men's team looking to keep their momentum going. They're about five minutes from game time for Eudora. Number one, obviously, is safety. We definitely call 811 to find out if there are any buried lines, fiber optic, whether it be telephone or pipeline or anything. Don't take a chance. Don't think you know and say, well, there's, I don't remember anything being put in there. Call 811 and make sure that that's identified that there isn't something there before you make that crossing. Because in the end, we want everybody going home. Everybody can make something because I think everyone has a spark of creativity and the reason that I have to keep making is because I don't think my life would be as fulfilling without it. If you make things yourself, that means you're not cowering in fear. You're out there taking chances. That I think is my way of saying I love you to the world. All right, now I want to hear why you make. Share your own Why I Make story today. Visit whyimake.org. The smoothest, the creamiest, the most amazing ice cream you've ever had. What would happen if, if I had to pick up the phone, call 911 for one of my family members or one of my neighbors? What would I do if, if no one was on the other end to respond? What if there was no 911? So you can be a part of the solution. Anybody can be a firefighter, male, female, younger, older. We are school teachers. We are leaders in business is me, you, anyone that wants to be. There is no typical firefighter.
Are you looking for a trusted partner in pet care? Look no further than Eudora Animal Hospital, proudly serving Eudora and the surrounding area since 1975. Eudora Animal Hospital offers a wide range of services, including wellness exams, surgeries, routine vaccinations, and emergency care. Hi guys, just wanted to say thank you from Eudora Animal Hospital for all your support and Go Dogs! Schedule an appointment by calling 785-542-3265 or visit eudoravet.com. High quality foods, friendly service, great prices, and a connection to the community that is unsurpassed. That's Jeans Heartland Foods in Eudora. Family owned, Jeans Heartland Foods offers a convenient one stop shop, delivering the everyday essentials you need to specialty items from around the world. Jeans friendly staff is here to help you find exactly what you're looking for. You have options when it comes to feeding your family. Choose to support local. Choose Jeans Heartland Foods, 1402 Church Street in Eudora, or online at heartlandfoodstores.com. Call insurance agent. Hello, customer. Oh, great. Uh, I just had a quick question about my insurance. You are 312th in line. Oh, it's just a real quick question. Would you like a callback in six hours? Sometimes humans are just more helpful. Hey, Max, I can answer your insurance question. Awesome. I appreciate it. Farm Bureau Financial Services. It's your future. Let's protect it. Contact Farm Bureau agent Anthony Brown in Eudora today at 785-615-0516. Welcome back in here, Bonner Springs High School. Dylan Vanderbilt, your announcer here for the second game here for Eudora. Eudora's men's basketball team ready to take on Bonner Springs here. And just about 60 seconds is scheduled for tip-off. So we'll do the national anthem here just for a minute. For our student, here is sports crush member Chase Richardson. In the Frontier League, we expect all in attendance to take pride in their team and represent the school and community with sportsmanship by respecting the calls of the officials, the efforts of the coaches and players, and focusing on your team as you cheer them to victory. Thank you. And now, at this time, we ask you to please rise and move your hats for the playing of our national anthem.
Thank you to Eric Peterson for the impressive solo performance. So bring you back in here on the broadcast, Dylan Vanderveen, your Eudora broadcaster here for tonight. Going to be the starting lineups here, and we'll take you right to our pay announcer for that. Guard, a junior number zero, Makaya Jerome. At forward, a junior number five, Errol Sima. At forward, a junior number 13, Connor Watson. At guard, a junior number 21, Jake Arnold. And at forward, a senior number 24, Logan Sullivan. Uh, now, starting lineups for your Bonner Springs Braves. Led by head coach Dan Strike and assistant coaches Josh Adams, Anthony Davis, and Jeffrey Evans. At guard, a 6'2 senior, number one, Kaylin Strike. At guard, a 5'8 senior, number two, Patrick Strike. At forward, a 6'2 senior, number four, Jermaine Wilson. At car, a 6'2 sophomore, number five, Jason Joe. And at forward, a 6'2 sophomore, number 15, Corey Rowe. Another announcement during the fourth quarter of tonight's game. So you just time heard the starting lineups here for the sides. Bring Peter into the student section. Only you heard the lineup here for both sides of both Bronner Springs and, and Eudora. We will have our contest for the 50 50 pair of planes. $5 a sheet. If your paper airplane lands closest to the hula hoop, you win half of the pot. So here on the stream, Eudora against Bonner Springs. You just saw the women's game take place. And now will be the men's taking place here next. Waiting here for the tip-off to start. Here it is. Bonner Springs will win that one with ease. That was Jason Jones with that win that time for Bonner Springs. So, Dover, here's a long three to start off the game. That one's missed. There's a long three by Kalen straight. And that will be a step out of bounds. And that's a quick turnover. It was Connor Watson. The 6'1 junior with that turnover. Eudora can't be having a lot of those if they expect to step in here and beat the Braves today. This one's quick over, straight in. That one quick to Jason Jones. Good passing. Jason Jones with the basket, but it was Kalen, the senior guard, who made that play happen with a nice assist. Picking it back out. Now a long three. That one rolls in and out. Offensive rebound put back up. It can't go. That was Jake Arnold trying to put back the put up. Pushed over another three by Kalen. That one will be an offensive board. Hard fought for that time. It was Jermaine Wilson with the offensive board. That one stripped away. Time a nice play. 
Micaiah Jerome. Going to three. That's Sullivan who put that one up and that one just off. Sullivan has the weird form on his three-point shot. But as we saw the last couple of games, it just goes in. Was here when they played Lewisburg. It was the first chance I got to saw him with that shot, and that was just short. And he's smiling on the way back. Is Corey Wolf. The waiting hands, trying to find something going. Now uh, Jerome trying to find it. There's Sullivan. Sullivan will make it a switch in the first points of the game here for Eudora. Ties it at two. About uh, five and a half minutes ago, another low scoring game. We saw both, or we saw the women's in both halves be very low scoring to start it off. That one just rolls. Just a missed shot that time. It's Patrick Price with the chance. Sullivan will leave it just short. Here's Jones. The rebound and quick rebound and now up the way the court. It's Connor Watson kicks it out. Sullivan throw that one in the hands waiting and a foul called. It's going to be on Connor Watson. Contacts Jason Jones. Fouls on Connor Watson. His first first snap. Now exactly three minutes into the game. Three minutes here into the game. Sullivan, the only points here for New York. Eudora, Jason Jones, the only points for the Braves. But swung inside, a lot of traffic. Wasn't the greatest idea for a pass by Price there that time. Luckily leads to a turnover here. Eudora trying to take the lead for the first time this evening. I want a weird shot going up, but it will go in. He's even smiling, wondering what his form was going up. But that was Stedry with his first two points of the day. Jason Jones looking for a three. That one goes in and out. Up again is Stedry, and it will be a blocking call. Fouls on Patrick Price. Patrick Stedry. Price will be charged with the first foul of the game. And he will be subbed out directly after that by Bonner Springs. Check in will be... Someone not on my lineup. Now it's going to be Prince Donnell checks in from swing player for JV and varsity. And that's going to be a travel call against Eudora. A couple of turnovers are ready to start it off here for the Cardinals. This one's Prince Donnell making one miss. Back to Donnell, and it's going to be a travel called on the young freshman. Time not taken by Bonner Springs. Correct me if I'm wrong, but Prince Donnell, the only number 10 ranked on any of their three teams. He has swung for both JV and freshman team, it looks like, this year, and you get some minutes here on varsity. I'm not sure exactly how many minutes he's played. 20 seconds here left in this timeout. Just a 42 score so far. Very low scoring to start it off. We saw that again with the men's and women's team. Women's team was a very low scoring game in general. 31-27, just 58 total points scored. This went well on the way to something very similar. Four minutes left to play halfway through the first quarter. The Cardinals do have the two-point lead. So 
one's going to be in to Watson. Now Sullivan, the senior with a three. That one left a little bit short. A nice rebound. Trying to go back up with it, and he does. Nick Youngkin with a hard-fought two points there. And could be a spark here for Eudora. Now up four. Prince Donald trying to get to the basket. Loses it a little bit. Kicks it back outside. On another hard contact. This one taken straight. That one. He will nail it. Nothing but net on his third three-point attempt. Missed the first two. That one tipped out of bounds. Still remain with possession from Eudora. Looks like it was last touched by Corey Rolf. Watson looking for his offense to set up. Sullivan's fighting for ground down low, and that one just taken away. Smart play by Caden Street, and that one goes up for Jason Jones in transition. Jason Jones looks like he had the hops to almost dunk that one. Sullivan loses the ball a little bit. He's tried to chuck it up. It's an offensive rebound for Stedry, and it will be a charge call. Prince Donnell, who's only 5'9", or excuse me, 5'6". He receives that contact well enough to get the charge call and another turnover here for the Cardinals. Their fourth already of the day. There's a shot by Street, and that one just out. He's right on the basket every single time, just about the distance. There's Sullivan going up for it, and will it count? No, it won't. Foul before the shot. Fouls on Caleb Strutter, his first personal. Caleb Strutter with the foul call on that one. That will stay with you, Dora. That one just tipped out of bounds, and we'll start over. Here, straight to the basket, right off the glass and in. Not really tested was Christian Jared, who's been playing more minutes as of recently. He got his first minutes in the last game versus Lewisburg, had some minutes in their game previously before that versus Baldwin. He's just starting to get some good varsity time. This one over to Jared again. This one, Connor Watson has tried not to take over the three. He'll take an easier two, tried to chase his own, but Jason Jones gets the rebound. Door is still having a two-point lead. This one now a three chance. One won't go. Rebound of Sullivan. That one. It's going to be another charge call. This one against Jarrett. The second charge offensive call against the Cardinals. That'll be substitutions here for Bonner Springs. Both Patrick's. Price will check back in as well as Jermaine Wilson. It was Stedry who got charged with the first call. Second call for charging was against Jarrett. So now straight through was Wilson, but couldn't get the ball cleanly. Lost it a little bit, recovers. Off the glass, can't finish. Sullivan still looking for the ball and throws it right off, and it will be off of the Braves. A nice veteran play that time by Sullivan, the senior. And that will be time for the bench for Sullivan. And Braves thought they had it 
on the ball going out to Jarrett. Not a really a clear shot here right now. Here, straight to the basket and a floater, but can't finish the six foot floater. And is that going to be charged a foul call? It will be a foul. It's going to be against Corey Rolf. Had his hands around him, wrapped around him rather than going for just the ball. That's an in and a nice find. Connor Watson. And to Errol Seaman for his first two points. So it's straight out to Price. Price in and out and back in. Price was wide open. Had no one around him. And just makes that a th his first three-point shot of the day. It's one inside. Oh, can't finish again is Corey Rolf. Having some troubles on both ends of the baskets is Corey. He's calling for some type of hold, some type of foul against someone against him. Still here, 10-10, to 10, a tie game, nearing the end of the first quarter. Two seconds to play, Sullivan with a quick shot, and that will be the buzzer. 10-10, ten to 10, the final score at the end of one. We'll bring you back with the second quarter here from Bonner Springs High School. You're listening to Varsity Sports Live. Are you looking for a trusted partner in pet care? Look no further than Eudora Animal Hospital, proudly serving Eudora and the surrounding area since 1975. Eudora Animal Hospital offers a wide range of services, including wellness exams, surgeries, routine vaccinations, and emergency care. Hi guys, just wanted to say thank you from Eudora Animal Hospital for all your support and Go Dogs! Schedule an appointment by calling 785-542-3265 or visit eudoravet.com. Welcome back here into Bonner Springs, Eudora men's basketball. Second of two games the women's played earlier. Fell to Bonner Springs 31-27 for their second loss of the year. The men's trying to avoid the same fate here beginning the second quarter. A tie game here at 10s. It's one thrown in the awaiting hands of about three Bonner Springs Braves. This one straight to the basket and a strong finish. Jackson Nez. This first points to 5'10 sophomore puts his team in front. Eudora looking for a response. This one, another turnover by Eudora. Two to start of the second half. And a quick three. Stride. Kalen Stride makes his second three pointer of the afternoon. And now Eudora are finding themselves down five here to begin. This one, a quick pass over to Seaman, makes a man jump and miss. Nice job to wait out Jermaine Wilson. A nice play that time by Errol Seaman. Now looking for the defensive stop here is Eudora. Giving it off to Jason Jones. Find something there. It was Jason Jones. Strong run to the basket, but couldn't finish in a nice rebound. It's Micaiah Jerome. Errol Seaman will toss it back outside to Connor Watson. 
There's Sullivan. Sullivan steps back, gives it back off to Seaman, right back to Sullivan. Puts it up twice, can't finish either time. Over to Jason Jones, and we'll draw the foul off Errol Seaman. Seaman doesn't like the call. But that's the way it goes, whether he likes it or not. Foul on Errol Seaman. <laughs> Jason Jones in the line, 2-2. 15-12. That one's good for the first of two. There's Jason Jones, makes the second. 17 to 12 so far here from Bonner. And it looks like Jason Jones will check out. They'll check in Devin Taylor. Eudora down five. Biggest deficit. And Sullivan puts that one off the backboard and rim too hard off the iron. Still plenty of time. Here's a three. That one's drained. Jackson Nez. Bonner Springs now up eight, putting the pressure here on Eudora. And Eudora will take their first time out. And they're going to have to recuperate and try to find something down eight here. We'll bring you back after a quick 30 seconds. Number one, obviously, is safety. We definitely call. 811 to find out if there are any buried lines, fiber optic, whether it be telephone or pipeline or anything. Don't take a chance. Don't think you know and say, well, there's, I don't remember anything being put in there. Call 811 and make sure that that's identified that there isn't something there before you make that crossing. Because in the end, we want everybody going home. I burned my taste buds. I like, here it goes over. Eudora down eight. Listen to Varsity Sports Live. Dylan Vanderveen, your announcer here for the game. Connor Watson taking it up here for the Cardinals. Over to Sullivan. Now Stenry, that one blocked away. Big time blocked by Kalen. Straight up for the Braves. He's had a big game so far and another three. That one missed by Nez. He's made his first two. Misses that one. Fortunate here for you, Dora. That was probably the biggest block so far I've seen of the season by Kalen. I went over to Sullivan. He's fouled on the way up. So two free throws coming up here for Sullivan. Jermaine Wilson, his first personal. But Kalen strikes a big time block. Sullivan the line, shooting two. Yeah. Well, that won't let that get thrown away here. And Sullivan makes his first. <laughs> Sullivan trying to make it two for two, and he does. It's now 20 to 14 here. Eudora trying to climb themselves back into this game. Put themselves down eight just before those two Sullivan free throws. All over to Strite. Strite inside off the iron. And that one hit around. Finally picked up by Sullivan. In transition. And that's going to be a foul contact call. I don't have a number 11 here for Bonner Springs. Not exactly sure who it is. For, for last name of Morrison is what the reporting here. Not sure what the first name is, but we report him as Morrison. So now over to Sullivan. Sullivan hard to the basket. Sullivan. That's why he's their leader here. The 6'3 senior getting a much needed basket now, putting Eudora down four.
Well, now straight to it. Devin Taylor with a quick basket. And judging by the crowd, surely maybe not getting a lot of them. Now when a foul going to be called, it's against Kalen Streit. He's not liking the call. His first personal. It's going to be his first of the night. And another foul is going to be called on Morrison. Morris. The second so DeAndre Morrison, his full name, gets two fouls here in a matter of 30 seconds. Three fouls on Bonner Springs in a matter of 30 seconds. Adora nearly had that one tipped away. Connor Watson almost let that one fall out. It was Jackson Nez trying to make the play. We talked about Bonner Springs not having almost any upperclassmen on their women's team, just three. The men's team with five out of three, just off again by Sullivan. Sullivan having a problem here, finding his shot early on here in the second quarter. Eudora still down six, 350 on the clock. Patrick Pice loses it hard on the ground as Kristen Jarrett liking the effort up by Seaman and a quick layup. Terrible Seaman. It was the effort by Christian Sherrod on the hardwood that made that play possible. And now Eudora just down four. Liking the defensive effort here by Christian Sherrod playing physical. Now up. Yes. No shot. Fouled beforehand. I believe the call will be on Errol Seaman. In both games, they've been kind of physical. I kind of like it now. Absolutely. It's good to both see games. It. Throw him back in the strike. Strike outside. Had a little bit of trouble getting that to Jermaine Wilson. Now Jason Jones will put up a long two. We'll leave it short. See him in the rebound. Now Christian Jarrett. And that one will be blocked again by Strite. His second big block of the game. He'll get his own rebound. And it looks like maybe a foul call before they got in transition. It will be a call. Jason Arnold. His first personal. Jake Arnold will get his first. Christian Jarrett will step out here for you, Dora. Still some uh, discussion here between coach and referee. Uh, ready to play or strike? We'll toss this one in. Patrick Price bring it up. Boston Wint is in here for Bonner Springs. Some of his first minutes of the day. Hard contact between Jason Jones and Ariel Simeon. And they'll call Seaman for a foul on the way in. Foul on Jason Jones. Second person. A foul will not be on Jason Jones. It's going to be on the opposite Jason side of Errol, Errol Seaman. Errol Seaman. It's his second foul here of the quarter. And here is a shot, and that one made in. Another three. No. Corey Rolf making this a seven-point game here, making it tough on Eudora. Over Sullivan looking to match a three, and he will. Three, Logan Sullivan. Logan Sullivan matches the three-pointer put in. And now Jason Jones will try to make it three in a row. 
And a rebound just by the one who made it. Now he'll take up another three, and he'll put it in. Three. How about that getting the rebound? Corey Rolf getting his own rebound, just chucking it up with a hand in his face, two in a row there for Rolf. So now Stedry making it. And that one and just a little bit too hard, puts it off the back iron. Watson going into Errol Seaman, just a little bit circus throw. Not much of a strong shot. Now Sullivan looking for his second one. That one's too hard and a foul call against Stedry. Stedry is not liking it. Fouls on Hayden Stedry's a second personal. Had a little conversation that time with the referee that time, telling him to calm down. We did have one technical foul in the last game for arguing with a referee. It was against Pearson Leslie of Bonner Springs. I went in and out that time. Strike can't put the first of two in. Bonner Springs is in the bonus now. That one will be made in. So an eight-point game here. About a minute and a half left to play. Eudora got to have some type of momentum getting in here in the second half. Errol Simo will try to find that straight to the basket. I will roll that one with ease. Absolutely no defense that time. An easy two points. That one hit away. Nice defensive play on the side of Seaman again. Saying his name a few times here in the broadcast in the last few minutes. Couple of fouls. Four points. That one nearly a backcourt violation. It was a nice save. And then strike. Trying to go straight to the basket. Fade away shot. Lifts it short. It's a nice job of a rebound that time. Jerome. Sullivan fakes the handout. Trying to go to the basket. He'll put his own fade away up and he'll drain his. 25 points now here. And Sullivan a big portion of that for Eudora. Less than 30 seconds remain here in the first half. Four-point game. Gives it off to Jones. Jones trying to make something happen with his offense. Fakes the handoff this time over to Morrison. Morrison looks like he's limping a little bit. And that one is going to be a backcourt. No, it's going to be off the foot. A long three by straight. He'll drain it. That one was all the way. Oh. And that one, they missed shot before halftime. A seven-point game. That one shot all the way from Narnia. <laughs> from Kalen Streit. I'll put them up seven and a half. We'll give the momentum to Bounty Bonner Springs. When we return here after the halftime show from Varsity Sports Live, stay tuned. The MVPs of BBQ. That's Barbed Wire Barbecue in Eudora. Family owned and operated, Barbed Wire Barbecue delivers great food and small town hospitality at a valued price. High quality hickory smoked meats, house seasonings, and time tested recipes put Barbed Wire Barbecue a cut above the rest. Kick off your weekend with their delicious brunch on Saturdays and Sundays and enjoy game day your way with Barbed Wire Game Day Packs. Visit them at 601 East 10th in Eudora or see their full lineup of flavors at barbedwirebarbecue.com. High quality foods, friendly service, great prices, and a connection to the community that is unsurpassed. That's Jeans Heartland Foods in Eudora. Family owned, Jeans Heartland Foods offers a convenient one-stop shop, delivering the everyday essentials you need to specialty items from around the world. Jeans friendly staff is here to help you find exactly what you're looking for. You have options when it comes to feeding your family. Choose to support local. Choose Jeans Heartland Foods, 1402 Church Street in Eudora, or online at heartlandfoodstores.com. 
Just like the Cardinals are striving for success, Caw Valley State Bank's mission is your success. At Caw Valley State Bank, they provide the best, most efficient, courteous, and professional banking services possible. And at Caw Valley, they recognize that the customer and their satisfaction is the most important ingredient to growing their community. With all the services you've come to expect from the hometown partner you deserve, Caw Valley State Bank, online at kvsb.com. A proud supporter of Eudora Schools. Freedom of the press is about your right to know. It's about your right to be informed. Today, no. there are real threats to press freedom and your right to know about the world around us. We must protect our right to know, no matter what kind of news is important to you. Before it's too late, understand the threats. Protectpressfreedom.org. Hey folks, save a thousand bucks on your interior painting project this winter. Hire Absolute Painting during November through February and qualify for 10% off your project, a free paint upgrade, and a free color consultation to make sure you choose the perfect colors to transform your home. This amazing offer only lasts until our winter calendar is booked and spots are filling up fast. Call now and save a thousand bucks on your interior project. No money down affordable monthly payment options are available. This offer won't last long, so call now to save a thousand bucks on your interior project with Absolute Painting, where quality is absolute. At Kansas Insurance, we know one size doesn't fit all. In fact, our whole mindset is based on customized policies for you and your families. We're local, and we do what we do because we care about you. Think of us as brokers for your insurance needs. Working with Kansas Insurance gets you the award-winning service and attention to detail that only an independent agency can provide. All across Kansas, we're here to help you manage and plan for all types of risk. Contact a local agent today. Kansas Insurance. Local. Independent. Serving you. Here, welcome back in. We'll do a quick halftime show. 32-25, seven minutes are left to go in the halftime. 32-25, it was a shot by Kalen Streit that put Eudora down seven at half. But Eudora trying to fight themselves back into this game. Down just seven. They have not had the three ball go in very much. Sullivan, their only three of the day. They need something to fall from three-point land in order to get back into this game. Sullivan, a big part of that. He has been leading this team so far in points. So not a huge issue there with Sullivan as in terms of scoring, but more in Sullivan in terms of shooting that three ball. They also have to have a couple more guys shoot it a little bit better, but we'll take another here short break from Bonner Springs, but we'll bring you back here with the second half of action just in a few minutes. For more than 20 years, Gherkin Rental has been the place to go to get the job done in eastern Kansas and western Missouri. With a huge selection of quality equipment, from roll-offs to trailers, telehandlers to generators, power washers to popcorn makers, experienced equipment professionals, and clean, well-maintained tools to help you get the job done right the first time. Gherkin Rental. Stop by any of their 13 locations across the KC Metro or call 855-GHERKINS. That's 855-437-5367. The smoothest, the creamiest, the most amazing ice cream you've ever had. That's what you'll find at Main Street Scoops and Sweets in historic downtown Eudora, Kansas. With over 100 mouth-watering Wisconsin-made ice cream flavors, including dairy-free and gluten-free options. The bakery is always serving up the most heavenly cookies, cakes, and so much more. Ask about Main Street's custom cakes for that special occasion. What are you waiting for? Come make the sweetest of memories at Main Street Scoops and Sweets in downtown Eudora, where it's always ice cream. 
Scream Time. The MVPs of BBQ. That's Barbed Wire Barbecue in Eudora. Family owned and operated, Barbed Wire Barbecue delivers great food and small town hospitality at a valued price. High quality hickory smoked meats, house seasonings, and time tested recipes put Barbed Wire Barbecue a cut above the rest. Kick off your weekend with their delicious brunch on Saturdays and Sundays and enjoy game day your way with Barbed Wire Game Day Packs. Visit them at 601 East 10th in Eudora or see their full lineup of flavors at barbedwirebarbecue.com. The Supplemental Security Income Program provides monthly payments to help meet basic needs, like putting food on the table, paying the rent, or buying new shoes for growing feet. You may qualify if your income and financial resources are low and you are 65 or older, or an adult or child with a disability or who is blind. Call 1-800-772-1213 or go to ssa.gov SSI to start to apply. Produced at U.S. taxpayer expense. Everybody can make something because I think everyone has a spark of creativity and the reason that I have to keep making is because I don't think my life would be as fulfilling without it. If you make things yourself, that means you're not cowering in fear. You're out there taking chances. That, I think, is my way of saying I love you to the world. All right, now I want to hear why you make. Share your own Why I Make story today. Visit whyimake.org. What would happen if, if I had to pick up the phone, call 911 for one of my family members or one of my neighbors? What would I do if, if no one was on the other end to respond? What if there was no 911? So you can be a part of the solution. Anybody can be a firefighter, male, female, younger, older. We are school teachers. We are leaders in business. Is me, you, anyone that wants to be. There is no typical firefighter. Are you looking for a trusted partner in pet care? Look no further than Eudora Animal Hospital, proudly serving Eudora and the surrounding area since 1975. Eudora Animal Hospital offers a wide range of services, including wellness exams, surgeries, routine vaccinations, and emergency care. Hi guys, just wanted to say thank you from Eudora Animal Hospital for all your support and Go Dogs! Schedule an appointment by calling 785-542-3265 or visit eudoravet.com. High quality foods, friendly service, great prices, and a connection to the community that is unsurpassed. That's Jean's Heartland Foods in Eudora. Family owned, Jean's Heartland Foods offers a convenient one-stop shop, delivering the everyday essentials you need to specialty items from around the world. Jean's friendly staff is here to help you find exactly what you're looking for. You have options when it comes to feeding your family. Choose to support local. Choose Jean's Heartland Foods, 1402 Church Street in Eudora, or online at heartlandfoodstores.com. Call insurance agent. Hello, customer. Oh, great. Uh, I just had a quick question about my insurance. You are 312th in line. Oh, it's just a real quick question. Would you like a callback in six hours? Sometimes humans are just more helpful. Hey, Max, I can answer your insurance question. Awesome. I appreciate it. Farm Bureau Financial Services. It's your future. Let's protect it. Contact Farm Bureau agent Anthony Brown in Eudora today at 785-615-0516. Hey, we'll bring you back in here. Varsity Sports Live, Dylan Vanderveen on the mic here with you for the second half of this Eudora men's basketball game. Down seven at half, 32-25. Already has more points in the game, however, than the women's game did throughout the entire game. Close, close. One point off. It was a 31-27 defeat. That Eudora faced against Bonner Springs. 
total of 58 <laughs> points in that one, 57 <laughs> points already in the first half of this one. Started off fairly slow with only a few points in the first three minutes. Wow. But it has kicked off since then, and it will start with Caleb Strite nearly turning it over. Did he turn it over? Wow. Where does it stay with? It stays here. So Bonner Springs, fortunate not to turn over the ball in the first pass by Strite. Al Strite tries to go straight to the rim, hands that one off, and just pats that one back outside to Patrick Price. A nice play again by the senior Strite. Swung over inside. Wow. That one bounces in and out. It almost looked wow. that one looked like it was almost fully down before it came back out. You know. Cora Rolf almost got that one's a foul called as Sullivan was going up. But Rolf on the other side got robbed by the rim on that one. Well, it's not be a foul call against Jermaine Wilson is going to be a second foul called. Sullivan will go to the line for the second time today. Made one of two the first time up. Or excuse me, two for two the first time up, but makes three for three. And there makes both first two points here of the second half. And now they'll look to shut down on the defense side of the ball. Strite will toss that one. To absolutely nobody. I think the only person that was over there was the cameraman. Uh -huh. And it will go out, and Sullivan will look to start another offensive possession here for Eudora. There's a lot more turnovers by Eudora in the first half than there was by Bonner Springs. It's maybe why they were down seven at the end of the first half. Here's over to Sullivan, and his three is good, and they need him to start shooting much more like that. His second three of the afternoon, and he's in double digits in terms of points. A foul call that time. Youngkin's going to be charged with the foul. Oh, Connor Watson. No, it's going to be Connor Watson, number three. Connor Watson picks up his third personal foul. Could be some trouble later on. Here's DeAndre Morrison. Bonner Springs trying to find something. Now loses the ball is Rolf. Having a hard start to his half and he looked like he rolled his ankle. Could have caused him to lose that ball and he will maybe stay in the game. No, he's going to leave. And I, they had Jackson Nez check in for him. He'll take a seat on the bench here for a little bit, cure up that ankle. Started down seven is Eudora at the start of this second half. Now down just two here. Sullivan, another three. That one. Looked good from up here. Stride outside to Patrick Price in transition. Hi. Patrick Price, his first three of the night, and it puts Bonner Springs back up five. You can't leave those shooters open. I mean, it was absolutely, open and you <laughs> absolutely wide open. You're correct. Uh, and here's another wide open three, and he'll drain it again. Jackson Nez. Jackson Nez now in double digits in terms of points. His third three of the day. Back to a six point lead here for Bonner Springs. Sullivan looking to match the three, and it's going to be a offensive foul called. It's going to be on the screen against Errol Seaman. Uh, So Christian Jarrett will check in. Errol Seaman will check out. I believe that is four on Seaman. And it looks like it's going to be another offensive foul. Fouls on Jason Jones. And Jason Jones will be charged with it. 
So back-to-back -back offensive fouls, one on Eudora and then one on Bonner Springs will cause the turnovers. And it's still a six-point game here with five and a half left in the third. It's been mostly Sullivan with the offensive side. Stedry's had a few. Christian Jarrett has been playing very hard, hasn't been shown on the stat board. He's been playing hard. That Sullivan puts that one up and touches nothing but net. Didn't put enough sauce on that one. Patrick Price, fresh off a three-pointer. And here's oh. Streit. That one's another one. And they're making it rain oh. here at Bonner Springs. And you're absolutely right. They are leaving them wide open <laughs> here. If you're the Eudora defense, got to be doing something about these shots. Sullivan inside, too hard off the glass, nearly got his own rebound. Was looking for some type of foul call. There was nothing. Jones lost the ball, ends up in Price's hands. And now another wide open three, and they're trying it again. Whoa. Man, how many in a row? Now that's four uh, in a row here, and a 12 point lead for Bonner Springs is making it absolutely rain. Youngkin will try for it. He'll air ball, and another rebound stolen away. Sullivan trying to throw it off the legs. Can't get it to happen against Jones this time. Jackson Nez, who was feeling it, out to Jones and is fouled before he can get it off to Price. That call is going to be called on Stedry. On no, Christian Jarrett. No, Christian Jarrett will get the foul call, his second personal foul. Stedry and Jerome will come off along with Sullivan into three man chains. Seaman will check back in with three fouls. Connor Watson will check back in. And here's another quick shot by Jackson Nez. And another one by Morrison up. That one's too hard off the back iron. Back to Bass missed open jumpers. But they are getting very good looks on Bonner Springs' side. Here, a nice. That's good, right? Nick Yunkin. Nick Yunkin with a nice drive. Puts him within 10. Much needed. And here it is Strites. That one's missed. Offensive rebound by Morrison. Now to Price. And back over to Morrison. Morrison. Had Errol miss one, tried to get it off the price as he was falling down. Connor Watson up to Seaman for an easy two. Passing by Errol Seaman. And it will be some changes. Jermaine Wilson will check in for Morrison. Strite trying to find someone in there. Just kind of tossed it in there. Patrick Sprite. Price ended up with that ball. I don't know how Strite even got that pass in there. And he's being talked at by his head coach right now about that exact same thing. Nick Youngkin will be charged with a foul. will send Price to the line. And now we're here with just 11 minutes left to go here in the game. Price will put the first of two in. We saw a total of four three-pointers just in this quarter fall. Strait had one. Nez had two. Corey Rolfe had one as well on the side of Bonner Springs. And Price will miss the second of two. And a nice strong rebound by Seaman to get that away from Devon Taylor before he got the offensive board. When nearly turnover again, Jackson Nez right in his face. Sarah Seaman, this one off. Trying to trap multiple times. Long two for Connor Watson, in and out. 
Trying for the offensive board. Is it going to be a foul? And it will be called a foul. Devin Taylor, Devin Taylor charged with his first personal foul. It's going to be push up when Errol Seaman was trying to get the board. So a quick three by Sullivan. I went just off. Still another offensive board, and that one throw right into the waiting hands of Nez Jackson. Read it perfectly. And Yudkin will pick up another foul. Or excuse me, Jake Arnold will pick up the foul. 21, not 12. Looking at the referee's hands on that one. Jackson Nez on the line, shooting two. Jackson Nez, who hit a couple of quick threes, puts in this first of two free throws. And we'll make both. So now a 11-point game, double digits deficit again here for Eudora. Trying to make something happen. Haven't had the lead in a long period of time. Start with Jerome. Gets it back out. Sullivan with another three. That one will lit short. Errol Seaman trying to get the rebound before it gets out and will not in time. <laughs> Near his bench. Prince Donald uh, back in here. Oh, no, excuse me, that's Kalen Doss. There's Strite with another three. That one will go out and touches the line before. Bonner Springs can do anything with it. It will stay possession of the Braves. There are quick shots. I want to drain Wilson with a little more of like a line drive type of shot. This one up to Stedry. Nice job for Stedry to keep that basket in. He was going full speed when he put that layup in and a nice touch. Jermaine Wilson, I was talking about with a little bit of a shot here. As he'll shoot it again, this one left short. That was less of a line drive shot. But it's going to be a foul called Taylor receiving the contact. It's going to be on zero. Fouls on Makaya Jerome. Makaya Jerome went to charge. So 47-38, a nine-point game. Minute 28 left to go in the third quarter. As Eudora's got some work to do to put themselves back in this game. Taylor with a chance to push his game with an 11. That first one is shorts. You don't see too many bigs at center being great from the free throw line. That's what's so unbelievable about Jokic. <laughs> we saw about a week and a half ago going 16 from 16 from the free throw line as a center. Absolutely does not happen. That's going to be a foul called against Corey Roll. This third person. It's going to be his third. To be inside. Errol Seaman lost it for a second. Had that one tip off a look like. Yes, it was. It was off the hand of Corey Rolf. Same possession of the Cardinals. 77 clicks left to go here in the third quarter. Or Errol Seaman had that one blocked. Big block by Taylor. Straight up with it. Another one thrown to Taylor. Nearly out of bounds trying to keep it in. And is out of bounds. He's trying to keep it in and find 
DOS. Defending his Taylor straight out of Stedry. Was near the line, has had to throw it back up to Seaman. Seaman up to Sullivan. Sullivan, another short shot from three point range. And a foul before Strike could get the block. Youngkin will go to the line for two. Fouls on Peter and Doss, his first personal. Kalen Doss will be charged with his first personal. And here's Youngin for the first of two. Some substitutes coming here in and out. Jermaine Wilson will check out. Checking back in is Morrison. Stride is all the way back. Sullivan making sure he doesn't get too far back if the shot is missed. Patrick Price for the bring up here with almost less than 30 seconds left. Morrison. And that one's hard contact. Going to be against Errol Simmon. They do charge it a block. Oh, uh, Errol Simmon. So it is his fourth personal. Thought maybe you could have had four before then. Now picks up his fourth here just before the fourth quarter. DeAndre Morrison on the line, shooting two. DeAndre Morrison for the first of two. That one, an ugly shot from the free throw line. You know, you wonder how much these kids have free throw practice and, you know, just practicing every day. I know when I played basketball, the first thing that we did was shoot 50 layups each and 50 free throws each. My coach got tired of us missing our free throws, missing easy layups when we had breakaways. That was the first thing that I did for about six years of my life, every single practice throughout middle school and high school. Makes you wonder with some of the kids that shoot about 50% as a school, how much that really yeah. is put into the workload at practice now. Sullivan wasting the time out here all the way to six seconds. Look like he could be the last one to take the shot. He will be, it looks like. He'll try to get open three, and he'll drain it right before the buzzer. Logan Sullivan makes this a five-point game right before the end of the third and will bring momentum here into the fourth. You're watching Eudora men's basketball here on Varsity Sports Live. We'll bring you back here after a small break. At Kansas Insurance, we know one size doesn't fit all. In fact, our whole mindset is based on customized policies for you and your families. We're local, and we do what we do because we care about you. Think of us as brokers for your insurance needs. Working with Kansas Insurance gets you the award-winning service and attention to detail that only an independent agency can provide. All across Kansas, we're here to help you manage and plan for all types of risk. Contact a local agent today. Kansas Insurance. Local. Independent. Serving you. Here, welcome back in here, Eudora, on Varsity Sports Live. 47-42 here from Bonner Springs. Eight minutes left to go here in the men's basketball game. Been a good one so far. I can see those free throws have paid off, you know. Absolutely, yeah, you know. I'm talking about your free throws. Yeah, yeah, you know, I, yeah, yeah, we're talking about a little bit. I tried to shoot a bottle here in the trash can. Goes goes in and out and touches the trash can about three times. Now everybody be making fun of me here down at Bonner Springs. <laughs> I was a wrestler, so I, I I couldn't be any better. 
Hey, I played. I played. I played a little college baseball, not college basketball. So okay, you, it's been a yeah. few years. It's been a few years. Yeah, I went into Patrick Price second chance. Can't make it on the second time either. Fortunate for you, Dora. Bringing it up here is Stedry. Stedry will draw the contact against Price, and he'll go up for two here. Looked like he was going for the contact all the way. Except it first time. Hitting Stedry at the line, shooting two. That one is in and out here by Stedry. Missed the first of two. It was the second foul on Patrick Price. As two will take a seat, Taylor. So as Das will sit down here for the Braves. That one goes in and out again by Stedry. Going possession of Bonner Springs. It was a little bit of not a clean rebound. Went out of bounds. Wondering maybe if he could stay on the Eudora side. Still a five-point game. A little over seven minutes left to play. Strite. A nice dot pass there by Wilson. Wilson couldn't handle it in the first go-around. This went out to Rolf. Rolf take an awkward shot. Leaves it short. And he fell off the ball before anything else could happen. Fell on Jermaine Wilson. Third Jermaine Wilson will get his third personal his contact against Stedry before anybody could get the rebound. Some foul trouble could be coming up here in this fourth quarter. So a few players with three on both sides, one with four with Errol Seaman. This one could be foot on the line, rolled it a three. I went in and out, but a good rebound by Yunkin. Logan Sullivan, a nice left-hander up and in. And you see why he's the biggest part of their offense again with that drive down three now. And a foul before anything else could get in. Sullivan charged with it. His first personal. It's going to be his first foul. So no danger there for losing your top offensive player there. Hard contact on the screen that time. Oh, my Caleb Strite, his third personal. Caleb Strite will be charged with his third personal, trying to get that rebound. There's some serious collision on that screen. Between Corey Rolf and it was Christian Jarrett who got screened. That's Price. Price with a reach in foul. Price not liking it, but he will be charged with his third. There's been quite a few fouls well by both refer by all three referees here called in this game. So I mentioned foul trouble could become a problem here. Sullivan along two. And a foul called on the shot to two incoming. Jermaine Wilson charged with his fourth. Well done, Jermaine Wilson, his fourth personal. Are they saying they're going to shoot three? Huh. Three shots coming. I thought he was. I thought he was in front of the line there, but they're going to rule it three shots. No, just one more shot. So they did correct it. Originally, it was ruled three. Switched it to two. That guy saw it right before that line. And Sullivan. Is it three or is it? One referee had it as two. The other one had it as three. So the inbound referee who tossed it to him had three, so that's how it will go. Sullivan misses the third one, 
Anyway, so it doesn't matter. I guess if it was two or three, he made two of them. A one-point game now here. It was as high as 12-point lead for Bonner Springs at one point. Strite. Over now to Jones back outside to Strite, trying to get his offense going, and he'll be bumped around in there. That's going to be a contact call. I believe Jarrett is going to be ruled with the contact, and it will be. So it will be Jarrett's third personal foul, and a contact against Strite trying to get in. Morrison hand that off, and another, that's a reach-in call there on Stedry, and now these foul calls starting to get a little asinine. Very little contact in that call against Stedry on that one. That was his third call, and Strite rolls that one in off his fingertips, puts Bonner Springs up three. One Sullivan, nice floater, left it short. Now Strite will bring it up slowly here. Now under five minutes left to play, a three-point lead for Bonner. Jones covered by Watson, going inside, loses the ball, and it will last touch him. Jones wants that one back. And it could be a costly turnover. In the bonus here is Dora. Not in the bonus yet is the Braves. But a quick timeout here taken by the Cardinals. We'll step away here, bring you back in 30 seconds. What would happen if, if I had to pick up the phone, call 911 for one of my family members or one of my neighbors? What would I do if, if no one was on the other end to respond? What if there was no 911? that you can be a part of the solution. Anybody can be a firefighter, male, female, younger, older. We are school teachers. We are leaders in business. It's me, you, anyone that wants to be. There is no typical firefighter. Here, bring you back in to Eudora. Varsity Sports Live here from Bonner Springs. Eudora down 3, 49, 46, 449 left to go here in the fourth quarter. It'll be all over here in just five short minutes. Sullivan with the inbound here to Watson. It's really been Sullivan with the majority of the offense possession. Everything else is kind of spread around, but Sullivan's got a good majority of their points. Strike. Off and inside. Now Justin off to Jackson. Nez, good find. Tries it a second time. Can't get it to go. You know, are fortunate neither one of those shots went in. Sullivan, a floater again. Left it short a second time. I went knocked away from the hands of Seaman. Seaman wanted a call and didn't get it. And here's a shot, Prince. He'll nail it! The ninth grader with his first three-point on varsity. Prince Donald with a three-pointer. They hear the crowd cheering. Yeah. He's a freshman as he hits his first three-pointer. And what will be his young varsity career here at Bonner Springs? A six-point game now, 52-46. Christian Jarrett going straight to the rim against Strite, and it will be called for a foul. And it will be Strite's fifth, or is it will be his fifth or fourth 
fouls on him, he will strike. His fourth person. will be his fourth foul. So they'll keep their offensive guru weapon Christian in Jared. the game for at least one more foul. Jarrett will bank his first in. There's Jarrett. Makes them both. That one looked better than the first one he banked, but 52-48, 3.38 here left to play. Kalen Strite. Nice pass inside to Jackson Nez, but Jackson can't finish. It was a great no-look pass that time by Strite to try to get it in. There, a nice move by Stedry will get the contact call. That was on Patrick Price. So Patrick Price will get his fourth of the day, and these fouls really starting to get everybody here with four fouls. See who fouls out here in the last three minutes of this game. In possession of Kalen Strite, three-point game. Guarded by Sullivan. He'll find Prince. He can't drain this one. Crowd would have gone absolutely nuts right behind him if he did. And here's a nice move by Stedry. We'll get it to roll in. Hey, now one-point game. Stedry had to wait a whole two seconds for that one to roll in. Prince Donald trying to find a teammate in strike and no foul called. He just fell over with Errol Seaman. Strike ran into him a little bit more. He could have probably gotten his fifth foul there on Seaman that time. That foul is called against Sullivan. Oh, my Logan Sullivan, the second personal. It's only Sullivan's second. And it's going to be a timeout here for Bonner Springs. 52-51, two minutes left to go. Exactly where you want to be if you're a basketball fan. Stay with us here on Varsity Sports Live. The MVPs of BBQ. That's Barbed Wire Barbecue in Eudora. Family owned and operated, Barbed Wire Barbecue delivers great food and small town hospitality at a valued price. High quality hickory smoked meats, house seasonings, and time tested recipes put Barbed Wire Barbecue a cut above the rest. Kick off your weekend with their delicious brunch on Saturdays and Sundays and enjoy game day your way with Barbed Wire Game Day Packs. Visit them at 601 East 10th in Eudora or see their full lineup of flavors at barbedwirebarbecue.com. You're welcome back in here to Eudora. 52-51 in favor of Bonner Springs. Eudora trying to steal this away game here. It's going to be Prince Donald 
the freshman with the ball here for Bonner Springs. Nearly lost it, and it will be a half-court violation and a young mistake by the freshman. You got to take advantage of this. Absolutely. If you're your door, this is a must-have. As they will sub out the young freshman, Prince Donald. Coach giving him a word of look like encouragement. Here's Stedry over to Sullivan. Sullivan, a floater up. That one rolls in and out. A nice strong offensive board by Seaman. Leads up to Stedry. And Stedry takes the one-point lead here for Eudora. It was a strong offensive board by Errol Seaman. Don't let that play go. It puts the Cardinals up 153-52. Patrick Price now for Bonner Springs. Trying to set up some type of offense here with just 80 ticks on the clock left. Jones. Crowd getting a little injured. Here's a three by strike. That one's going to be left short and an easy foul call this time for going over the top of Stedry is going to be called on Morrison. Foul on DeAndre Morrison, his third personal. Stedry shooting two. Stedry will be sent to the line in the bonus, shooting two. First one leaves it short. Much needed here. Second free throw. 66 seconds left. And strike. That one ripped away again from Bonner Springs. Door over to Stedry. Trying to make up for his two free throws. And it's going to be a charge call against Stedry. They called it a charge. Ref talking to Coach Zierding right now. He said he was set. It's going to be a timeout here for Bonner Springs, but the third call against Stedry, and we'll take one of the last timeouts here. We'll bring you back on Varsity Sports. Call insurance agent. Hello, customer. Oh, great. Uh, I just had a quick question about my insurance. You are 312th in line. Oh, it's just a real quick question. Would you like a callback in six hours? Sometimes humans are just more helpful. Hey, Max, I can answer your insurance question. Awesome. Appreciate it. Farm Bureau Financial Services. It's your future. Let's protect it. Contact Farm Bureau agent Anthony Brown in Eudora today at 785-615-0516. Welcome back here to Bonner Springs. If you've been watching and tagging along with us, it's been a good one from the beginning. 53-52 now in favor of Eudora. They just recently took over the lead just a couple of minutes ago. The lead was as big as 12 here for Bonnard Springs in this game. The lead was at 7 at halftime. Bonner's looking for some type of offensive move. Jackson Nez gives it to him. A spin move right to the basket gives them a one-point lead, and now Sullivan looking to respond. Sullivan will get the foul call. No shot. But they are both in the bonus, so it will be a one-and-one. DeAndre one. Morrison, his fourth personal. Logan Sullivan, the line, shooting two. 
The first of two misses. Bruce Sullivan again, he'll make the second. And it will tie this game up at 54 apiece with a timeout on the floor by the Cardinals. We'll take you back here in 30 seconds for the end of this one. More time Before you wake up in the wild Our natural world needs us now. Step by step, side by side, together, we can find a way to ensure that all life on Earth can thrive. To learn more about how you can help protect and conserve nature, visit nature.org. Bring you in here to Bonner Springs. Just 22 seconds remain. It's been a very close one, 54-54. Well, who wants it more here between the Cardinals and the Braves? We'll find out here in the next 22 seconds. I'm going to fresh off the timeout by Eudora. It's going to be Strite who brings it up. And he looks like he could waste down the rest of this clock and make it just to the end of the last possession. By Bonner Springs. And it's going to be a timeout by Bonner Springs with 10 and a half remaining. Could just be court advantage trying to set something up right out. So it's a quick 30 second or a quick minute timeout here. Talk through the game of how we got here. Johnson. Or excuse me, Eudora was down seven at halftime. They've come all the way back. They were down by as much as a dozen. At some point in this game, Sullivan been a big driving force on the offensive side of the ball. As well as Kalen Strite and Jackson Nez on the side of the ball. Bonner Springs making this game 54 apiece. If you're with us for the women's game before this, 58 total points. It was 31-27 in favor of Bonner Springs got the W. And hey, it gave Eudora their second loss. Men's team not trying to suffer the same fate here. As they will come out of the timeout, a 54-54 game. Bonner Springs does have possession and called their last timeout. It was a full minute timeout. So Kalen Streit will throw the ball in with Sullivan. And here's Patrick Price. Over to Kalen Streit. Back over to Price. Three on the shot. Here over to Josh Jones. Off the back. He got it. He got it before the buzzer. He got it before the buzzer. Josh Jones got it before the buzzer. Got it. 56-54 if it stands. The referees are talking about it now. And it is called. It is a good basket. Josh Jones avoided the contact and got the basket off the backboard. This left hand. Wow. 56-54. A heartbreaker for Eudora. The whole student section surrounds Josh Jones. Wow. A last-minute buzzer beater from four feet for Josh Jones. It is official 56-54. The referees have made it official. The shot did count. So 56-54 at the end of this one. Eudora suffers a very heartbreaking loss. My. But Bonner Springs... Gets the dub here at home. They sweep them both on women's and men's. We'll bring you back here with just a small post-game show before we wrap it up here on Varsity Sports Live. We'll bring you back after this two-minute timeout. Dan, you need to go. Really? It's important. 
I feel fine. Look, you cannot mess around with this kind of stuff. Some cancers, that... man, we just don't want to lose you from something we could have caught. What I need to do? You just give your doctor a call. They'll tell you what screening test you need. Fine. Can I have my pie now? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> High quality foods, friendly service, great prices, and a connection to the community that is unsurpassed. That's Gene's Heartland Foods in Eudora. Family owned, Gene's Heartland Foods offers a convenient one-stop shop, delivering the everyday essentials you need to specialty items from around the world. Gene's friendly staff is here to help you find exactly what you're looking for. You have options when it comes to feeding your family. Choose to support local. Choose Gene's Heartland Foods, 1402 Church Street in Eudora, or online at heartlandfoodstores.com. At Kansas Insurance, we know one size doesn't fit all. In fact, our whole mindset is based on customized policies for you and your families. We're local, and we do what we do because we care about you. Think of us as brokers for your insurance needs. Working with Kansas Insurance gets you the award-winning service and attention to detail that only an independent agency can provide. All across Kansas, we're here to help you manage and plan for all types of risk. Contact a local agent today. Kansas Insurance. Local. Independent. Serving you. Hey folks, save a thousand bucks on your interior painting project this winter. Hire Absolute Painting during November through February and qualify for 10% off your project, a free paint upgrade, and a free color consultation to make sure you choose the perfect colors to transform your home. This amazing offer only lasts until our winter calendar is booked and spots are filling up fast. Call now and save a thousand bucks on your interior project. No money down affordable monthly payment options are available. This offer won't last long, so call now to save a thousand bucks on your interior project with Absolute Painting, where quality is absolute. Back here to Bonner Springs post game show. Eudora suffered a heartbreaking loss here at the end of it, 56 54, the final here from Bonner Springs. Eudora let Jones get the last layup here from about four feet right off the glass and in as time expired. And that's how the game will end. Eudora here, two games today, women's and men's, get swept at Bonner Springs, suffering their second loss and their fourth loss here for. With the men's team. Unfortunately, Eudora coming out with no wins on this trip to Bonner Springs. That'll be it here for us from Varsity Sports. Join us next time here on Eudora for their next matchup, men's and wins here in just a couple of days. You're not going to want to miss it here at Varsity Sports Live. For now, I'm Dylan Vanderveen. I'm saying good night here from Bonner Springs High School. <laughs>